The Laura N. Dowsett Award was created in 1982 to honor a sustaining member personifying the ideals of the Junior League. Laura Dowsett was a founding member of the League, creator and first editor of the newsletter Minabird, now known as the Halavai. She was president of the League from 1933 to 34. Her community involvement accelerated when she became a sustainer. An interest in occupational therapy inspired her to return to school in an era when that was a rarity. Laura set up the first occupational therapy program at Queen's Hospital. She remained there for 16 years, drawing the handsome salary of $1 a year. I'm so invested in Junior League because I feel that in order to make a difference in our community, number one, we need to train young women as to how they can participate and how they can take their skills to make a difference when they actually go out and help others. When I became a Junior League member, I was about 18 years old, and in those days, we didn't work. We became Junior League members, and that was our way of entering the community. We did a lot of going to different schools. We would put on a little play for the children. I got to know Laura in 1960. She really inspired me to take on a, a, a project that maybe I couldn't do and get it done. We started what we called Malama Manoa. We wanted to preserve and protect the historic qualities of Manoa Valley. Well, I think Laura Dowsett taught me that women can speak out and be heard. Uh, and she made a big difference in our community. When she became a sustainer, she went back to school and got her occupational training uh, certificate and started the Queen's Hospital OT program. How inspiring. She was a dynamic woman and it was such a pleasure to know her. The League really helped me a great deal to stand up, speak out, advocate, make a difference. This was a project uh, which was a therapeutic preschool. My husband uh, brought it to us. He, as a child psychiatrist, saw many disturbed children of preschool age who could not participate in preschool very well because they were so disturbed. We ended up working with the Salvation Army. It was a joint venture, I guess you'd say, between the League and Salvation Army. Well, it taught me all kinds of things. One of the things uh, was Robert's Rules of Order, for example. I ended up not only being the first woman, but ended up being chairman of the board and chairman of the foundation. My most favorite experience was when a friend of mine named Lynn Malakea and I co-chaired the youth project for the symphony. And this, believe it or not, meant that we put 47,000 school children per year in the HIC, the concert hall, to listen to symphonies for the first time in most of their lives. In my provisional year, I was approached to do auction 80. And I said, well, I don't know if I can do that. And I've never done anything like that before. And they said, well, don't worry. You know, you've got the whole Junior League behind you. You have somebody that won't let you fail. And that's what the Junior League, I think, does. They won't let you fail. Well, I think the Junior League cookbook, having done that whole project with a group of women and, and to see that 25 years later, the Junior League cookbook is still there, I, that's definitely touched my heart. I think the League gives you a lot of insight into volunteerism and leadership. And I think I was able to apply those um, uh, insights and talents into legislation. It's very similar being a legislator to being a community worker. You don't think about the money, you think of uh, the greater good for the community and how it will help, who it will help, how much it will cost, all the realities. The Junior League is critical to the future. It trains our future leaders. They become good citizens, they become involved, and that's exactly what we need for tomorrow. If I had not had what I call the basic training of the Junior League, the things that taught me how to plan, how to organize, how to delegate. And one word that before my Junior League training, I had never even heard of, and that's the word advocacy. I found myself thrust into advocacy on a national level thanks to the Junior League. And so from 
then thinking about organizing a group like MAD did not seem that daunting. And the rest is history. I think it's important for society to understand the value of trained volunteers, though, so that we get the, the young people into the Junior League to get that training and then go out into, into the bigger nonprofit society to use that training. We need our nonprofits, and the best way to help the nonprofits is to get trained. So, right out of the starting gate, you can help, and you can help effectively because you are trained.